What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new here my name is Lauren. Welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in today. As you can tell by the title of today's video we are going to be reviewing the new L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. I have both the foundation and the concealer. I have some shades here to play around with. I'm just going to apply this on camera today for you guys and then we're going to do a few check-ins throughout the day. So that way you can see how this foundation really wears and performs and I'll do a few check-ins in different lighting such as these harsh studio lights, some natural daylight, nighttime, that kind of thing so you guys get a really really great idea on how this foundation looks all around throughout the day in day to day life. So before we get started with the application and my first impressions, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. And hit the little bell notification below, that way you don't miss any of my future uploads. As always, I have some really exciting videos planned for you guys that you won't want to miss. So if you are interested in seeing me test out this new foundation and concealer, then let's get started. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, we are going to get started with the review. Um, please excuse my appearance. I am getting ready for the day, hence why my hair is not done, hence my gym apparel. This is day-to-day -day real life for you guys. This is what I look like when I'm not filming, which is 90% of the time. So like I said in my intro, half of this is going to be a regular makeup video, and then the other half will be kind of a vlog style where I take you throughout the day and show you the makeup and how it's progressing, how it's wearing. I'm gonna take you guys with me. I have a few errands to run. I need to get ready for the day. It is currently at 10.56 a.m. I gotta get moving. I've been up for a while, but I need to get some makeup on this bare face. So I'm not gonna scoot you guys in just yet. First, I want to talk about the primers that I'm gonna be using with this foundation. I'm going to be using two different primers on each side of my face. That way we can kind of see if this product reacts better with a mattifying primer or more of a hydrating one. Um, I figure if we use two different primers at the same time, we have double the chance of figuring out something that works really, really well for us. On this side of my face, which is my left side, I'm gonna be using a matte primer, and this is the Soap & Glory One Heck of a Blot. This is my ride or die like mattifying primer. I've been using this for two years now, I think. Um, when Casey Holmes talked about this, I was like, yes, 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 yes. I need this and I love it. This is, this is when I don't know what to do, this is always my default. When I'm concerned about weather, humidity, rain, sweat, anything like that, this is what I go for. And then on this side, my right side of the face, I'm gonna be using something super hydrating and this is the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. Um, yep, the Indivisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. I love this too. I don't use it as frequently because I don't really reach for hydrating primers as much. I'm more of a matte gal, but we'll see how it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply these and we will get started with the foundation. So we are all primed up and ready to go. I have scooted you guys a little bit closer. That way you can see what's really going on here. Um, so like I said, we're gonna be trying out the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 Hour Foundation. And I have it pulled up on Ulta here just to talk prices and a little bit about what the product does. So it costs $14.99. They have 30 shade options, which is really, really great. And it has four and a half stars with over 1,500 reviews. So this product has been out for two or three months, I think now, um, but people are still really talking about it. It's very popular, so I figured we would still go ahead and test it out. Some of the benefits are up to 24 hour fresh staying power, long lasting foundation with the most lightweight, breathable texture, waterproof, transfer resistant, and sweat resistant, medium to full buildable coverage foundation with a natural finish. So those are all the claims for this guy. And like I said, $14.99, which is kind of up there for a drugstore foundation, but I'm finding lately a lot of drugstore products are getting more and more expensive. So I have two shades here that I'm going to be mixing. I noticed they did have a really great shade selection, a ton of different undertones. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this. It's pretty much orange, but I have a more normal color here that I think we can start with as our foundation and just add a tiny bit of this to darken it up a little bit. I'm not going to be applying any of these foundations with a brush because I know I don't typically care for foundation with a brush regardless of what it is there's very very few products I will use with an actual foundation brush so I'm just going to be using a morphe beauty sponge lately I've really really been into these so on the back of my hand I'm just gonna take two pumps of shade 425 this looks like a really nice medium shade for me. Ooh, that's that's so runny can you see that 
Um, and then I'm just going to take a tiny pump of shade 500 and mix that together. The pump on these is really nice though, I must say. And I'm just gonna use my sponge to kind of combine these two colors and see if we can't come up with something that matches us. I think that shade is perfect actually. When I buy a foundation, I like to typically buy a very light shade and then a pretty dark shade um, because that way you can always kind of customize your color and you'll always be able to create something that really matches your skin tone perfectly if you self tan any phase of your tan um, during the summer. I just like to have that versatility and with more practice, you'll get really good at customizing your shade and you'll be able to eyeball it really, really well. So that was about less than two and a half pumps and I'm kind of already out. This sponge does soak up a lot of product, but this foundation is super, super runny. So I feel like you might be using a lot of product, which kind of sucks. Um, but again, it is okay because it is a drugstore foundation, but that's still, you know, if you have to use four pumps of foundation every time you're applying, that could be kind of expensive at $15. So far this looks really, really nice. I would say it is medium coverage. It is covering everything really, really well. Um, I do have foundations that are like a mask, like Huda Beauty, that foundation covers absolutely everything and anything. Um, I don't think that this is quite as full coverage as that but I do think that it does give you a really nice amount of coverage and it's blending pretty well, I must say. There is a little bit of a fragrance to it, um, but it smells, it smells like body wash. It smells natural and clean. It doesn't smell perfumey. Again, like Huda Beauty, that is so heavily fragranced and the wet and wild photo focus smells like paint it does not smell like that i don't i don't mind the scent i'm just taking what's left on my hand and just kind of building that in areas where i need a little extra coverage and i am finding this is layering pretty nicely i like it so far i really do like how this looks so far um it does feel a little bit tacky and i don't know if you can see but i am a little bit not shiny but i look dewy and my skin looks really really healthy while still being really smooth and everything is covered and evened out Looking at my mirror up close, I'm not seeing a ton of differences in the primers. They're kind of both laying the same. I think this side looks a little bit better. This is the side I used the one heck of a blot. I think this looks a little bit better just because this has more of a silicone-y texture. It's a little bit pore filling, but I'm not seeing a huge difference in like mattifying or in looking extra dewy. I think both sides look really great so far. Um, I'll be interested to see which primer plays a role in the longevity of the foundation, but so far, so good. I'm really, really enjoying it. All right, so next I'm going to go in with the Infallible Full Wear Waterproof Concealer. Again, this has four and a half stars with 528 reviews on Ulta. Seems some people really like it. Some people aren't the biggest fan of it. This concealer is $12.99 and they have... 25 shade options again a really really great shade range so this is more than a concealer full-on coverage and full face wear it's waterproof transfer resistant fade resistant you can cover contour and shape your face completely covers imperfections minimizes redness and scars sounds like a regular concealer to me so we're just gonna go ahead and apply like we normally would so i have two shades here and these are 0.33 fluid ounces each um, these remind me so much of Shape Tape and these, I'm sorry I didn't tell you before, these are one fluid ounce each, so kind of your standard foundation and concealer amount. So I have two shades here. I have 355 Vanilla and 375 Latte. So Latte might be a little bit dark for me, um, but I think Vanilla will be really, really good. And then if this is too bright, we can always dot in a little bit of this. This has a huge doe foot applicator, kind of like Shape Tape. This is like the new trend and I'm just going to 
to apply this underneath my eye in kind of a triangle form and then on my forehead, Cupid's bow, wherever I like to highlight. Now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of 375 Latte and just dot that in the areas. I feel like this is going to be a little bit too bright for me. If I was doing like a glam makeup look, I would be okay with it, but for every day, this is a bit much. Taking my Morphe sponge, I'm just going to blend all of that out. Up close, this concealer looks pretty good. It is creasing a little bit, but every concealer creases on me until I set it. Um, so that to me is really normal. This doesn't dry down like super matte, like I would say like a shape tape does, but it blends into the foundation really, really beautifully. And I did apply kind of a medium amount. I wasn't too generous and I wasn't light with it. Alrighty, you guys, so I have finished up my makeup off camera. I didn't do anything too crazy um, with my skin, but I did layer powder on top of this foundation. I use my Too Faced Peach Perfect uh, Matte Setting Powder, and I have to say, this looks really good. My skin is pretty much completely matte now because I did put powder all over my face. It is currently... 11:30 now so i'll see you in a bit all right you guys so here is our first check in um it really has been like 10 minutes since i just left you but i really wanted you to see what it looks like in natural light um it's not a particularly sunny day today but i am standing in front of our huge like french sliding doors so this is 100 percent natural lighting um what do we think I think it looks really, really good. The biggest thing is gonna be how it obviously wears throughout the day, but so far my skin looks pretty dang good. Hey guys, what's up? So I just wanted to do a, another check in with you guys. It is currently 3.40. I've been wearing this foundation for four hours now. So I don't know if you can see, but it's come off a little bit around my mouth when I ate lunch today. Don't mind my lips are super chapped. Right there, I'm getting a little bit of like a ring. Um, everywhere else, it still looks pretty good. It did not rub off on my neck when I changed my clothes. My forehead is a little bit shiny, but... I mean, it doesn't look gross. It just looks kind of like dewy. But yeah, so far I think it's looking really good still. And I'm actually about to go to the gym actually. Um, I was planning on doing like a full day wear test to see what this looked like till like the bitter end, like 10 p.m. But I wanna be realistic with you guys and I have to go work out and I don't really wanna take this off and like reapply it and all that kind of stuff. So I'm actually going to go to the gym with it on. Normally I never work out with makeup on just because I don't like the way it like makes me feel. I like to wipe my face and stuff like that when I'm sweating. But I think that it will be a really good test to see what it looks like. So this isn't gonna be an all day wear test. I'm going to spin class at 4.30. So that will probably be done by 5.30. I'll be home around six. So that'll still give us like seven hours of wear plus a sweaty, sweaty gym session. So I think that will be a pretty good indicator of how this foundation is. All right, you guys. So, sorry, I'm like out of breath. I just got done with class. Um. I'm sweaty, <laughs> but my makeup still looks so good. I can't believe it. My face was literally dripping. I have not applied any additional powder, anything like that. Wow, it doesn't look bad at all on this camera. I think it looks really good. It's raining out too and like not, it's not cold. So it's like a little bit humid. What time is it? It is currently 5.29. So we're doing pretty good. Honestly, this has been on for like six hours now-ish, I guess we could say. And still loving it. Still looking pretty good despite an hour spin class, rainy weather, and I'm, I'm pretty hyped. I think it looks great. All right, you guys, so I am here for my final check-in. It is currently 6.26. Sorry if you hear the dogs. You guys, I think that my skin looks really, really good still. Like I said and showed you before, I do have a little bit of a ring around my lips missing from eating and sweating, that kind of thing. But I mean, that's to be expected. I am a little bit creasy under my eyes. 
but I do think it looks really, really good. The foundation did not settle in my forehead, nor did the concealer like a lot of them do. I have a forehead wrinkle here that stuff likes to get caught in, and it didn't do that at all. I don't see it clinging to any dry patches. It did rub off a little bit on my nose, but again, that's with every foundation to be expected. I do look a little bit greasy and a little bit oily. This side especially, this is the side that I used the Marc Jacobs primer on, but even then it still looks so good and this side is holding up pretty pretty well. I'm pleasantly surprised this lasted for as long as it did and through a workout where I was literally dripping sweat, I need to go shower, I'm disgusting. But I'm super impressed by this foundation. I think it has a really pretty finish. It lasts a long time, clearly, as we can tell. And for $15, I think it's a pretty good price point. I definitely want to play around with the concealer a little bit more. Um, it's not my favorite at this point in time, but it is really, really good. I still do recommend this. Um, if you do have oily skin, I would recommend going in with a more mattifying primer with this kind of product. I think it'll just last longer. So all in all, I'm really, really excited with this foundation. I'm really glad that I found a product from the drugstore that I love. Lately, I've been struggling to find a new drugstore foundation, but I think this is a really, really awesome product. I think it's great. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up before you go and hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Just fine before I met you I drink too much and that's an issue But I'm okay